While the city's public bike share program has been used by thousands of city dwellers and tourists alike, the steep price of the bikes presented a barrier for low-income people and families in Vancouver. On Wednesday, representatives from Moby will be setting up shop at Ray Cam Cooperative Center in East Vancouver to help people sign up for their Van City Community Pass, which costs just $20 per year, compared to the regular price of $159. The pass, which was launched earlier this summer, can be accessed by those who qualify for the city's Leisure Access Pass, Red Compass Card or people who were referred from a participating organization. Representatives from the Moby Bike Share program will be helping people sign up for the program at a Strathcona Community Center this week, Jennifer Godier, for Star Metro. There have been 93 people who have signed up since the launch of the community. Pass earlier this summer, an indication that they should meet their target for 300 new members under the program this year, we felt like it was something missing from the service, said Laura Beattie, Special Projects Manager at Moby. We just wanted as many people on bikes as possible, so we created this program where people don't need a credit card to sign up at a lower price, to reduce the barriers, article continued below Moby has partnered with community centers and organizations to promote the passes. So far, Beatty said they've seen a range of people sign up for the program, mostly adults but also young people and seniors. Launched approximately two years ago, the city-funded Big Share program has drawn criticism for being inaccessible for low-income people. Aaron O'Mallon, executive director of Hub Cycling, said there are already many barriers low-income people face to simply getting on a bike. There's the costs of bikes, helmets, locks. And if you get a flat tires or something goes wrong, those maintenance costs might be insurmountable for someone that's low income. O'Mellon also said it might be harder for a person unfamiliar to cycling to find information on understanding rules of the road and the easiest routes to take. If you don't have access to internet, you may not know there's a much safer route one block away, so just looking at the traffic on a main road can make biking can feel very unsafe. O'Mellon said that with the community pass, many of these barriers are eliminated. A great idea that can also make it easier for families to bike together. Article continued below Moby's rollout of bike stations across East Vancouver will coincide with their visit to Ray Cam Cooperative Center, which is located across from the recently installed station at Hastings and Campbell. Connor Levesque, spokesperson at Ray Cam, said access to bikes will help people in the neighborhood get around. I think it helps them to explore Vancouver a bit more, and do activities that were difficult before. It's an avenue for leisure and for health, Sherry Sukaran is a Vancouver-based reporter covering health and safety, youth. Follow her on Twitter, at Shukaran.